Hey, what's going on? It's me, your good friend, the good reverend, Cameron Abbott. And I'm here with the last chapter, chapter 5, of Emily is Away, Less Than 3. Uh, Emily is Away 3 is a game by Kyle Seal, a good friend of ours, good friend of the show. He's big fans of us, and we're even bigger fans of him and his work. Uh, Emily's Away and Emily's Away 2 are both available currently on Steam. Uh, Trevor has been doing Let's Plays of them. You want to go ahead and check those out. Um, and if this is actually your first video of this series, seeing this, hit the link down below for part one. Go check that out. See this entire journey for Emily's Way 3. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to uh, go through this and play this game. Uh, I've been waiting for this game for years, ever since Emily's Away 2 ended, and I was like, well, I need more now. And uh, Kyle's given it to him. So, that's a shout out to him. Uh, if you like what we do, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that notification bell because we are putting out podcasts and other Let's Plays and episodes multiple times a week. Uh, we have that D Plus show, that Nerdy Site show, uh, that news you care about, uh, like variety of Let's Plays. Currently, Trevor and Logan are playing It Takes Two as a co op Let's Play, uh, playing through that. Um, they've been having a blast doing that. Previously, like, Trevor's done a lot of Nintendo Classic stuff. Like, we have a ton of content, a ton of variety in that content, and it's just an absolute blast. So, you can do that. Um, I also stream. I'm on twitch.tv slash revcabot. That's R-E-V-C-A-B-B-O-T-T. -T. It's also my Twitter handle. Um, but yeah, that being said, let's go ahead and just start hopping right into things. Uh, yeah, so where we left off, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Except I can't see. I'm not wearing my actual glasses. I know, you would never be able to tell. Ugh, so where we left off is we decided to ditch prom with Emily. Uh, and have a great time at a bonfire. We ate s'mores. And I found out about Jeff Fisher. Uh, my rival for Emily's affections. Uh, Emily doesn't think so. Emily thinks they're just friends. Uh, Jeff sent me a... Not just very or super but ultra passive aggressive uh note about any friend of, hey you're emily's friend right emily friend of emily's a friend of mine wish i would have talked to him as matt saying like dude that's her boyfriend not her friend and like maybe set boundaries as matt <laughs> although that would have been, that would have been dishonest it would have not been a good look for me uh and probably would have backfired horribly so we didn't do that uh, but yeah, no, high school's over now. Uh, you talked to Emily about Jeff, and she assured you they're just friends. Life is good, and summer vacation is here. So, let's go ahead and play. Tuesday, June 2nd, 2009. Did it. I know we were planning on hanging out after graduation today, but I got some family stuff. I'm sorry, Cameron. Uh, let's see, so, Anna wrote on my wall. Real quick, we have to do some detective. June 2nd, 2009. June 2nd, 2009 was in fact a Tuesday. We graduated on Friday. And then yesterday was a Monday, and that's when they went to the concert. So she did not ditch me to go hang out with uh, with Jeff. And here we go. Emily has an electronic playlist now. That uh, that was what she had la last time. Let's see if she's improved it. Uh, it's gotten... Oh, gosh, it's gotten way worse. Oh... Like, it's just, it's not good. Oh, gosh, it's not good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. At least Evelyn's back on the punk, like, pop-punk train. Uh, she's on, oh, she's on full, like, um, like, all-time low. Uh, the Academy is asking Alexandria. Like, okay, so she's on, like, a full-on, like, end of the aughts, uh, End of the aughts of that. Okay. Oh, Alright. Nothing is to payday. I'm just hanging out. 
All right. Uh, hanging out for graduation. So we didn't hang out after graduation, which is fun. Um, Saturday we graduated. Sunday was whatever, and then there was that. Matt's birthday is on the 5th of June. Uh, I owe someone birthday slot. So here we go. This is this is uh, fun. This is interesting. So yesterday was a grad party at Anna's. Uh, what did you write on Emily's wall? She's still with another. Oh, look at these beautiful photos of her and Steve. There we go. All right. So that's going for her. Uh, they did a photo booth. Shutter shades. Uh, nice. It's them being friends, beginnings and endings. I gotta push back. I have some ideas, and some of them are good. Oh, I've been found out. You learn to read? Just being bored. Nothing much. Man. Hang out and do what? How about going overboard, man? I'll make sure. It'll be fine. There's an ice cream truck. I am there. <sighs> it's the shitty superhero popsicles. They're terrible. But I always wanted them when I was a kid and I could never get them. And as an adult, I've learned that not only they're ter are they terrible, they're just absolutely horrible. Thing now? For sure, I can tell that. That's not 
That's not rocket science. Brilliant, why is that? I couldn't do that, man. As an adult, I can. I've learned, like, sometimes you just need distance on those things, and if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. In high school, though, no. I could never do that. What if you kept doing it? It's actually pretty adult man. Oh, we're pretty good. You know us. The other two options weren't that, so I'm guessing things aren't good. So every chapter starts. Things are going so great. You like actual structural flaws of our relationship being revealed and are, like, under attack. Oh, Matt, good job, you nailed it. Yeah, you're definitely in trouble. Emily, who are you? I'm the exact same. I want to go to the movies or something. Break you out. Mm, true, true. Games are good. Games are good. Guess I got my swagger back. Guess it has something to do with his playlist. That's his playlist that I took a look at. Boys Noise by Jeffer. His DJ name is Jeffer. And his song's name is Boys Noise. Oh, he's got some Steve Aoki. Okay, that's not that bad. Oh, okay, this is actually an improvement on that that playlist. Slightly. And actually worse, because he put his own song there. Boo. Uh, this and that. I think it'll be really fun. We're gonna bail on Matt's birthday? Buy you a nice one.
Yeah, it, just, it, would, it would be. Just don't say it out loud. Uh, they're not like officially dating, at least not yet. Yeah, I might say that too, but I don't know if it's true. if it works like uh, just stay together right We're not even that far apart I'm talking about both going to school in Boston. What are you trying to say, man? What do you even mean by that? Like, what is these these vague questions? <sighs> sounds existential. I don't know what sounds existential to think about. because it eventually happens. Soulmates is such a... Like, ah, uh, I hate it. I hate that as a concept. That, like, People are destined for each other or there, there's so much that goes into that that's so like as an adult I look at that and I see that as like a very naive and very childish way of thinking you're supposed to be together with somebody because you're soulmate it's like that's just such an easy way out for saying hey I really like this and then I try to make a relationship Conversation are we having exactly? It's the breakup. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I pointed this out earlier. I did it. My me in the chat did it. Or not a word. That's not a single word. It's one. It's two words. Too. And 
what? Wait, what do you mean by that? As much as what are you talking about? These are vague terms, and I hate it. It's so freaking high school. You think you're being deep and nuanced, but it's so freaking shallow. I hate it. That's just the honeymoon. Relationships are work. You build them. They don't come prefab. I don't know how it works. Yeah. We try to figure it out together. That's how relationships work. And my girlfriend. Where is this coming from? And when were these conversations? Which friends exactly? Which friends exactly? Hmm? 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 Jeff. It's Jeff. Jeffer. Uh... High school me would have been like, you know, Figure out and fix it. That's what high school would have said, for sure. That was my mentality back. It's a wrong fix it. There's obviously something wrong. Otherwise, why would you? She wants to like this is this is her whole thing. Just sad? Ugh. I mean, we have our ups and downs like any time. Part of being with someone. She guesses. It's not gonna solve things. That's not how things, that's not how relationships work. Even teenage camera understood that. It's not. No. This is.
break from, what do you mean break from what? I know what she means, but like really say it. Don't just be like, we're on a break. Like stop dating for and clear your heads, Fira. I don't know. I don't know about that. We need to talk about Jeff. But it's not just about us. Do you like Jeff? Do you have feelings for Jeff? Do you want to date other people? Oh. So she doesn't want to date other So up front, I played through this before, and she previously said yes, she does want to date other people. When I asked her that question, she said, isn't that what being on a break's all about? So you think Jeff has feelings? Come on, Emily. Is <sighs> the last friend me? Hmm, how'd that turn out? That's a bit passive aggressive. I just wanted to ask if it. Yeah, I didn't know that. Is the one in your pants? Yeah. No. No, of course I do. Now here's the thing, in the first playthrough I did say that, now I'm wondering if I actually did say it. Yeah, just see that. He's got his swagger back. He's got his swagger back. He's I hate him so much. I hated guys like him in high school. He sucked. Ah. Uh, never said that. I don't think I ever said that it was okay. I think I just accepted. Was my trust misplaced? I don't know if my trust was misplaced. Because I, that's my trust in Emily, not Jeff. Me. 
Nope, oh, I think I remember this all pretty different. I hate that. I hate that answer, actually. Let me delete it. Let me delete it. That's the wrong one. Ah! I think I remember this all. She's gonna pull the receipts. We both know it. Jeff part, yeah, we can drop. You've settled. That's <laughs> so aggressive. Should we consult Jeff? I don't. Needy. That's what I would have done in high school. in your communication is important. I honestly don't know if I can do that. firm on it. I asked before she wanted to date other people. Now I'm going to ask. So how does this work? Still like exclusive? You said you didn't want to date other people. And now you're saying we won't be exclusive. Ladies and gentlemen. So that was a fucking lie. Or did she mean, now she might have meant, now here's the thing, caveat, silver lining. She might have meant I won't be in another relationship while we're on a break. Which is 100% how that always happens. Honestly, this just sounds like a normal break. I'm trying to understand. I really am. What, do I leave the door open? Do I just be like, it sound, It seemed messy, which I don't want to say. I don't think that's a good op. And then the other one's no expectations at all. Is that me throwing it back in her face? I mean, like, now you get your no expectations. There you go.
I hate how the hooks get into you on this one. Emily is away too, ends with you trying, like, you can try to get the girl. It doesn't play through you having the girl and what you go through. Make a decision. I have no expectations at all, just like you. This is adult Cameron. Time jumping, get in the way of young Cameron. Be like, of course, always. Young Cameron would have done that. I'm stepping in here. This is all advice for anybody else out there. If this is the kind of like situation that leads to your breakup, like trying to be, still trying to be friends after a relationship like this, it just it doesn't. Things have to change. You can't just still be friends. You can still be close to each other, but you can't... Like, the dynamic has changed. You can't go back to the way it used to be. Because how it used to be doesn't exist anymore. Some people think that they can, and maybe they do. I don't know. But I've never seen it work out. It's never gone, gone well for me. Um, so I'm stepping in here, and I'm saying what needs to be said. No, I really don't think I can do that. This is her decision. This is what she wanted. I can't do friends stuff. What I will say is maybe someday. I'll... Like this is your decision. This is what you wanted. This was way more uh, brutal on my end. Things last uh, the other night when I was doing this. Probably not. mine now. Cameron is now listed as single at 444 on a Tuesday. Nope, not really. It hurt it hurts differently than it did the last time. It hurts different last time. It took me, um, 
uh, two days to get back to this, to play through it again. The rest of the night, I was totally wrecked. It was a combination of one I'd messed up making such a basic error with my mic, and then... This way is better. Your status is right. The only way through is... The only way out is through. Thanks, man. No, but thanks. Really terrifying, my friend. Really terrifying. Let me hear something. Dick Bagel. Please define Dick Bagel. Learn something new every day. Not even a horrible, gut-wrenching breakup can ruin my... Wait. Uh, she... I don't know. She talked about how she likes your thing with Anne. She says something about not wanting expectations or whatever. And this is not saying that's not how that works. Because I, I didn't say that. Uh, yeah, I know she knows that. She wanted to be non together but just not exclusive. That's not accurate. Under. Yep. Was my only option. I received first. Our mutual Jeff sense is tangling. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying that. That's not accurate. I mean, sure, there were other reasons too, but yeah. Despite everything, I don't think so. Hard work, right now. I know, man. Why, Matt, you're my best friend. doesn't feel that way. Come on. 
Uh, if I had said something sooner, I was drifting away. Yeah. Maybe we could fix things. The dick bagel. Yeah, she didn't deserve you either, Nash. Though I was 100% on her side because I thought a completely different thing. Sure, what's better than 303? You get broken up with. Hit me with this playlist. You can tell by this choice already, you know. You know it's the good stuff. Uh, I'm not going to even spoil it for you. Uh, play this game, buy this game, play it, get to this point in the game, and enjoy. Because it is a choice playlist. Just chef's kiss perfect. Ah, oh, it's so good. It is, thanks, man. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're seeing Anna tonight. Nope. Being a good friend. <laughs> Have fun with that. I mean it. Yo, Evelyn had a great time at the beach. Oh, and there's uh, her Steve. Steve, her boyfriend. Sunshine and tan line. Go. Yo, underwater folks. She got in. Wherever she was going, she got in. Congrats to her. It's Evelyn. I don't know. Best.
He's right all over. Barbecue. I definitely can't play this song. <laughs> Pop up a YouTube link. And that's when things ended. All right, let's see the personalized stats. Your story. You and 55% of people chose to go to Emily's party. You and 32 people encouraged, 30% of people encouraged them again. You and 23 did not tell Emily any rumors about Matt. You and 42% kept date plans instead of seeing Matt. You and 24 did not talk to Jeff, signed in with Matt. 20, 80 or 76 of you people. Oh my gosh. You and 3.8 people got this ending. Looks like Matt uh, decided to bail on Anna anyway. Sucks because they should have had a, a good night out, but he must have saw that I was going to that party. But that's it for Emily's Way 3. Wow, what an adventure. What an absolutely exciting and wonderful time that we have had together playing through this incredible game. Uh, needless to say, I am enthralled and raptured with this game. Uh, I think it's the best one yet in, this, in the franchise, in the series. Of course, they're all standalone games. You can hop into any of them. But I highly suggest starting at least with Emily is Away, even if you want to skip Emily is Away 2 to come to Emily is Away 3. Uh, Emily is Away 1 is just such a short game that it'll immediately get you in the uh, in the mindset of like kind of what you should be expecting about these sort of things. Uh, but I have to say, even if you just want to hop into this one, give it a try yourself, maybe try going for Evelyn. I know that in my next playthrough, I'll be trying to date Evelyn. Maybe I'll have better luck with that one. We'll see. Uh, that being said, thank you so much for watching, uh, for going through this entire Let's Play series. Um, enormous special thanks to Kyle Seeley for uh, reaching out to us, getting us this code, um, and being just like one of the best indie developers out there, truly creating something unique and special, while at the same time... Uh, able to craft something that feels like it's it's not how you remember it but how you think you remember sort of nostalgia as a kind of gateway into these like I mentioned in episode 4 these odd paraso almost parasocial meets um, suspension of disbelief in an odd way that lets you emotionally feel for these people in these situations uh, he is truly a master of his craft um, he's honed it for several years, uh, and he scares me. He should scare all of us. I digress. Um, enormous amounts of love towards uh, Kyle, to anybody who has watched the series. Um, go ahead and tell us what you thought about the Let's Play. Uh, go ahead and share a comment down below. Uh, you can also, if you like this series and you kind of want to see what's next for us here as a that, that nerdy site, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, ding that notification bell because I guarantee in the next few days, there's going to be a new podcast for you to listen to. There's going to be a new Let's Play. We're always churning out new content. Um, we're a group of people who are just dedicated towards doing that. And yeah, uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at RevCabot. That's R-E-V-A-B-B-O-T-T. And I'm also streaming on Twitch. Uh, usually I'm streaming Mondays and Wednesdays uh, from usually around 
uh, 6 p.m. Pacific to 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific. Sometimes a little bit later. Uh, I go a little bit longer sometimes. But that being said, I want to just, you know, if you haven't checked out Trevor's Let's Plays of Emily's Away 1 and Emily's Away 2, make sure to do that. And also, finally, the last thing, I'll be sure to link it down below, but the link to the Steam page uh, where you can find and purchase this game. Uh, this is this man's life's work. This is what he has been building up to for the last you know, five years. Uh, he is a, a somebody doing something truly different and innovative in the independent game space. And it cannot be emphasized enough how much, especially if you've watched this playthrough, if you've watched this playthrough and you think, well, I've seen what I wanted to see and you made all the choices I would have made, I don't have to buy the game. I'm asking you to buy that game in because it's supporting an independent developer who truly is doing something different. And I, among, I know so many other people cannot wait for what's next. So with that being said, I can't wait to find out what's going to happen next for all of us. From all of us that here at That Nerdy Site, thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay nerdy and be good to each other.